This is an introduction to the Smart Count SC8 actual count. The input of a discrete pulse into the top M12 port of your Smart Count device will register as a count. Input devices can be a proximity sensor, PLC, push button, or foot pedal. By selecting the keyboard icon, you can set the starting number. Actual count 2. Your input of a discrete pulse into the bottom M12 port of your smart count device will register as a count. Count 1 minus count 2. The field displays the difference between the actual count and actual count 2. This field could represent production minus waste. There are three ways to reset the values. One is to right click on the screen and hit clear values. Another would be to go to the settings page, which we'll cover in a minute, and hit the reset data box. And the third is to press the button on the outside of the controller box for five seconds. Let's review the settings page. Count multiplier. By default, the system is set for a one-to-one -one ratio. However, if you had boxes with 10 items in it, you could set this field to 10 and this system would increment by 10. If you need to use a fraction here, lead with a zero a decimal point and say for a half point five. On this page you can also reset the actual count and actual count two. Here is what we discussed earlier on the reset data. Sensors. This section is for customers using two metal contacts as an electronic device to generate a pulse. The debounce settings can be altered to ensure an accurate count. Time of day. If this box is enabled, you can come in here and change your information by changing it here and then selecting the check mark. Again, that's only if the system time is enabled. Languages. All of the fields on your smart count can be easily relabeled by you. Simply find the field that you'd like to change and enter that text and it will be displayed. I'm going to change actual count to tires. And as you can see, it changed here. Now to change that back, I can just come in and clear the field. And it reverts back. System. This screen provides you information on your smart count. When updates are available, you will receive an email with revised software and instructions on how to update your controller.